PlayStation gamer? Do you like free games? How about 10 of them? Following on from Ratchet & Clank earlier this month, which is still available until the last day of March by the way, Sony have outlined 10 more free games you can download over Spring 2021, all thanks to their Play at Home initiative. These games come without any strings, no need to have PS Plus, no subscriptions needed at all. As long as you have a PS4 or PS5, they are free for life. The following games will be available from March 25th and stick around because the final game is Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition. But we have to wait until April for that one. The first nine games are smaller, more indie focused games ranging from puzzlers to rhythm games and a load of PSVR compatible games too. Abzu kicks things off. From the creators of Journey, Abzu takes us on an underwater exploration. There are no weapons, there are no typical fights, and not a word is spoken. Abzu just exists to be a meditation video game, swimming with schools of fish and dolphins. Finding ancient ruins becomes the reason to finish the game, and swimming, which most of us haven't had access to for a year plus now, is a joy. Next we have Enter the Gungeon, a roguelike dungeon crawler which is totally focused on shooting enemies with a multitude of weapons. The enemies are plentiful and dodging bullets becomes a key ability. We even have a dodge roll for impossible situations. The weapons can range from typical rifles and snipers to out of this world weapons like a ninja sword that can slow down time and a spinning flamethrower. The Gungeon has a random generation element making each playthrough different. And there's also a multiplayer option for the diehard shooter fans. Game 3 is Res Infinite. In a cyberspace zone attacked by digital bugs, we guide our character through the chaos to find, awaken and defeat a final boss, corrupting the world. Res is an on-rails shooter completely dedicated to the music you create with every shot you take. Res Infinite can be played on PS4 and PSVR, and I have to say, VR makes this game feel the greatest. Just remember the tunes you create will be stuck in your head for days afterwards. Next, back to the underwater we go with Subnautica. I haven't played this one. The blurb says we crash land on an alien ocean planet, forcing us to explore under the waves. From there, it's a case of survival, managing health, hunger, thirst and oxygen levels. Other modes remove some of the survival elements, and the hardcore mode introduces permadeath. Yep, only one life. Truly terrifying. Figuring out which creature is friend or foe looks very interesting to me, so I'm gonna try it. Game 5 is The Witness. If you're a puzzle game fan and you haven't played The Witness, you are missing out. After awaking on the beach of a new island, you'll discover everything here is a puzzle, brain teasers, or something to perplex you. Surprisingly, there's an interesting story which evolves in ways I didn't expect. With this one, I say don't be fooled by the basic art style. The Witness received a boatload of 9s and perfect 10 out of 10 scores. Now let's move on to PSVR games. If you have a PS5, you'll know how absolutely perfect Astro's Playroom is. Well, that isn't the first game in the series. Japan Studios made an Astro game on VR and it's brilliant. Astro Bot Rescue Mission. I was skeptical of trying a VR based platformer, but I shouldn't have been. We are physically in the world and must move our body to avoid attacks from enemies, all while directing Astro over bottomless pits and other obstacles. Seeing things in 3D and moving your head to judge gaps is difficult to explain. So I'll say this, if you have PSVR and haven't played Astro Bot Rescue Mission, you really should. And hey, it's free. Game 7 is Moss, and just like Astro, this is another VR platform puzzler you shouldn't miss. This time we are in charge of guiding a rodent through the world in about a 3-4 to four hour journey. Quill will use sign language to talk to you as we free this tiny kingdom from a fire-breathing snake and rescue his uncle, all in a day's work. Next up is Thumper, a horror game in the form of a rhythm game. Mechanically, Thumper is a basic VR game all about timing button presses on a roller coaster on the way to hell. To be clear, Thumper can be played outside of VR, but like Rez earlier, VR brings this genre into a perfect space. Matching the music perfectly makes the game captivating, but I do have to admit, the horror-themed score left me in an aggressive mood after playing, especially when I failed a boss fight. Game 9 is Paper Beast, the final PSVR game on the list, which takes us to a world of sentient beings made of origami. 
Without a doubt, this is an art piece rather than a game and lacks direction often. I'll admit it, it's confusing. The puzzles here are usually easy to solve, although sometimes they are so easy you'll be unable to figure them out. The game evolves and allows us to change the terrain and take control of the Paper Beast world. So those are the nine games which are available from March 25th to April 23rd. But wait, there's one more and it's huge. On April 19th, we can download and keep forever, totally free, Horizon Zero Dawn. And it's the complete edition too. All of Aloy's travels in one game download. Aloy is a hunter in a world of technology, fending off robot dinosaurs. Without a doubt, this is a PlayStation masterclass. Live through Aloy's childhood and upbringing and become the leader you were always meant to be, unlocking the history of the world and what the heck happened to civilization. Please don't miss out on Horizon Zero Dawn. I'll be sure to remind you in one month from today when Horizon Zero Dawn drops totally free on April 19th. So there we have it. There's all 10 games. What do you think? Actually, there's 11 if you remembered to add Ratchet and Clank to your library this month too. Not bad, eh? I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.